Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it is time for another designer showcase. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So let's start first at HLModTech.com. I have got a Tinkercad tab, and I've got all the designer showcases. Today, friends, we're going to revisit James Tampa. He has shared with us the Millennium Falcon. Friends, let's click on the link and see how it opens. Alright friends, so this is a fantastic design and here you get a glimpse at the parts that are in it. Friends, this is so complex and I think Tinkercad may have changed something because as you'll notice it kind of hangs up here near the end. But you still just get a glimpse of it, how awesome this project is and just how many amazing little pieces it took to make it. So right here we're getting the node fails and failed the group shapes as it's just running out of steam as this awesome Millennium Falcon comes to life. Alrighty friends, so this is as far as I can get it to render. I'm going to try and ungroup it and see if I can back out a little bit and get it so that we can see the separate pieces that James used to build this crazy awesome design. Now you didn't see that there but it had a page non-responsive. So this is just one of the points where you can back out and if you're patient, I told it just go back in and try, it actually ungroups one piece and lets us look at it at a little bit finer detail. While we're fiddling with this, once again I get another node fails to load, fail to group shapes. Let's see if we can go inside. Oh yeah. So there you can see how he's just using little rings and pieces to make this so it looks so realistic. Let's see what it looks like inside here. There is the gun turret. Just so many amazing things. So when I talked with James, he said he spent several months and hundreds of hours while he was building it. And uh, it's just so cool to see how he chose to design little pieces and just keep adding them in as he made it more and more incredible. I'm going to ungroup again and once again we'll have to be patient and let's see what we get. As I was preparing for this project I asked James why do you design like this and he said you might as well ask why do I breathe. He said I love the creative outlet. It also allows further exploration to develop his illustration work and we'll show the at at where you can see he's doing a little bit more of that in the portfolio in a minute. If you're looking to connect with James you can find him on Instagram at James Tampa Artist and you'll also find him on Facebook at James Tampa Artist and I'll have links to those down in the description. Also make sure you check out his Tinkercad profile. It is Arcturus1020. I will have a link to that in the description as well. So friends, I am not able to get this to finish, but let's just open up one of these parts and take a look at how this complex, awesome shape here is actually so many epic things in Tinkercad. When we hit ungroup and ungroup, check it out. It is just shapes with cutouts that are combined to make such an amazing part. And this is what I love most about Tinkercad, is the more you play with it, you can start seeing how these shapes combine. This is the same type of idea I used for my Captain America shield. You just keep adding things, and when you finally get it the way you want, it is the coolest feeling ever. Friends, don't forget James does have a second one, an awesome haunted mansion. I'll have the link to that up here that you can watch as well. And if you want to find his profile, don't forget all you do is you hit Tinkercad. And in the Tinkercad main window, click up on this little search bar and then type Arcturus, A-R-C-T-U-R-U-S, 1020. And then make sure you switch to people. Here he is with his awesome Darth Vader icon. And here are all of his awesome projects. Friends, don't forget when you see one of these projects, get in here and hit that like button. And of course, if you scroll to the bottom, you can add a comment as well. I'm gonna give it an OMG, and that is amazing. Friends, don't forget, as you're creating your awesome projects, it is always this easy to share them with me. If you click up on the Collaborate, you can generate a new link, you can copy it, and boom, you can instantly share that with any of the social media that you have. You can always find me on Facebook, Gmail, and Instagram. I am HLModTech. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HLTinkerCad. And lastly, you can also use the messaging on the HLModTech.com website to reach out to me almost instantly. 
Friends, I also want to highlight a few groups that you can join. If you're on Facebook, there is a Tinkercad Worldwide user group. There are almost 2,000 members. It is a great place to post what you create, get feedback on your creations, or if you're stuck, you can ask questions and they'll help you almost immediately. Same thing, my friends, with Tinkering with Tinkercad. This one has 3,000 members and people are always creating amazing things and they are so helpful if you ever have questions. Lastly, friends, don't forget Reddit. There is a Tinkercad subreddit. You can see that I will be posting lessons here. There are lots of people asking questions and you can always get help with all your cool Tinkercad projects. Friends, I hope you enjoyed learning about James Tampa and all the cool creations he's made. And friends, if you want to be the next person highlighted, make sure you reach out, share those links, show me what you've made, and we'll see what we can do. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.